My name's Ash Teasdale and I farm at Rupanyip in Victoria, Australia with my father and my brother. Our family's been farming here since 1890 and I'm now the sixth generation to be on the farm. We farm in the Wimmera which is a really good fit for pulses. Our first pulse crop was field peas back in 1982 which because of drought was a failure but we went on to grow them again the next year and then throughout the mid 80s we added faba beans and chickpeas and then in the mid 90s we began growing lentils. The Wimmera is historically a big wheat growing area. There are a lot of farmers around the district that would say that they are now pulse growers primarily and are using the cereal crops as a break from the pulses. Pulses have worked really well for us We've had some really good results and they allow us to uh, control the grass weeds that we get in cereal crops really well. The nitrogen that they can put back into the soil is fantastic and they help us build soil health and structure. No-till and controlled traffic farming has really revolutionised the way that we grow pulses now. Interrow sowing pulses into standing stubble has been hugely successful around here and it offers the crop protection from the wind and the sun. Harvestability has improved as well and has really changed the way that we grow pulses. The climate here can be very variable and uh, we've seen in the last 15 or 20 years uh, a lot of droughts and, and unfortunately not a lot of rain but uh, the way we're growing pulses now and the, the varieties that are out there and the technology that we have has really allowed us to you know, maximise the, the returns that we get and uh, even in uh, some of the drier years with uh, favourable prices, pulses can still be some of our most profitable crops. 2016 is International Year of the Pulses, so get on board.